Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are here to talk about my personal top 12 pregnancy must-haves and tips. Yes, I'm recording in front of my couch. This is the fifth or sixth time I've tried to record this video for you guys, but Kaya is just not having it. And uh, yeah, so that's how we go roll today. Okay guys, I am gonna get real in this video. I wanted to make this video in a style where I was almost like going back and telling my past self um, tips and tricks that I've learned through these pregnancies and how to handle pregnancy. And so I hope that you find some tips and tricks in here that are good for you. Every pregnancy, every woman, every mama is different and everybody has different tips and tricks, but these are just my personal top 12 tips and tricks that I hope you can find some use and some relation to. All right, my tip number one. Now, and this is in regards to stretch marks. You guys, I am covered in stretch marks. My belly is covered in stretch marks. Angry, huge, red and silver stretch marks. I genetically was not very blessed with like the greatest of skin when it comes to elasticity and stretch marks, and that's okay. I've accepted that because I would give and do anything to bring my beautiful babies into this world. I just wish I could go back and tell myself that, hey, this is gonna happen, it's okay. Um, you're gonna get through it and they, and they will fade. I remember crying my first time when I was pregnant and I saw these angry, scary red stretch marks all over my belly. I just cried. I thought about how I'd never be able to wear a normal swimsuit again or like a bikini again. Um, I thought my body was ruined and I really just flipped my perspective and I reminded myself that, that this body has brought one, almost two babies into this world and that I need to be proud of my body and I need to accept my body. If you're genetically prone to stretch marks, they're gonna happen and there's no oil or cream out there that is going to prevent them from happening. Now, I do recommend an oil, uh, Mother's Special Blend Oil, which I'll have linked down below for you. Um, I feel like this oil really helps with the conditioning of your skin. Now, it doesn't help prevent stretch marks, um, I don't think. I haven't gotten any new stretch marks, but again, I'm covered um, from the first time around. I've gained significantly less this time, so that might have a little bit to do with it. I feel like this really helps prevent redness and itching, and it helps prevent um, the pain from your skin stretching, um, especially in um, the later months of your third trimester. This oil, I feel, has really made a difference this time versus last time. Tip number two is in relation to morning sickness. So I am one that gets, I have, I, my first pregnancy was, was tough. It was really tough. On um, the second, this time around the second pregnancy, it has been much easier. I still got morning sickness this time around. Last time it was all day sickness. Morning to night, I was sick as a dog. Um, I was on Zofran, I was eating snacks constantly. They no longer prescribe Zofran for uh, morning sickness, which I learned in this pregnancy. This pregnancy, I took vitamin B6 and I ate um, small, healthy, frequent snacks throughout the day. And those two things helped my uh, morning sickness. But unfortunately, there wasn't really anything I could do to totally eliminate the morning sickness. So just embrace it, mama. You're gonna get through it. And right around weeks 12 to 15 for me personally is when I finally kicked that morning sickness to the curb and my energy came back and I was finally able to make it through a morning without needing to gag. <laughs> Number three, now I kind of already touched on this a little bit, but your body is going to change and it's okay. You will go through a time where you're going to mourn your pre-pregnancy body. Now, I've always struggled with my body and my body image. This is just something um, I've mentally had a hard time with, um, even more so after I got pregnant. My husband and I were blown away and amazingly blessed at how quickly we were able to conceive um, with me having endometriosis my first time around. So you want to feel thankful for your pregnancy, but at the same time, you're sad and you're, you're mourning 
this this body that you used to have no matter how imperfect it was and now when you're pregnant you're you miss it so my biggest tip um, when it comes to you know mourning your pre-pregnancy body is that it's okay your body is going to change you are doing a beautiful thing you're bringing a life into this world and your body is going to change and it's okay tip number four is um, when you are getting ready for labor drink up your red raspberry leaf tea I can't say this enough this time around it has helped me so much um, already I can tell that my body is doing what it's supposed to a little bit more than last time um, Red raspberry leaf tea now if you guys have watched any of my other videos You'll know that I highly recommend evening primrose oil I insert two vaginally every single evening and I take two orally uh, Now that I am over 37 weeks pregnant and I highly recommend the evening primrose oil not to necessarily like induce you and put you into labor but um, to help prevent any tearing down there. I cannot say enough about this. I did do this my first time around as well, delivered a nine pound baby and only had a couple of stitches. So evening primrose oil for the win. Now to tie in with that um, subject, the end of pregnancy um, tips, is um, you need a yoga ball. A yoga ball is essential for um, moving your hips, getting baby really deep down low in your pelvis, helping baby engage, and will help you move and work through those contractions once you get towards the end of pregnancy. Tip number five, your life is going to change. And again, it's okay. I feel like when you're pregnant, when you're extra hormonal, that you're it's easier to like tip your mental health one way or the other. And you'll start to think about, especially during your first pregnancy, you start to think about your life that you had before and what's your life going to be like now? You know, what's your relationship going to be like? What's your marriage going to be like? Everything is going to change you guys and again, it's okay. Everything is going to change It may seem like a stressful and hard change now personally It wasn't a stressful and a hard change for me My husband and I were very excited for this big life change But I know for other women that it has not been this easy now my biggest tip is just to keep yourself moving forward. God only gave you one direction and that is forward. So if you're having a tough time or a tough mental time in your pregnancy, just remind yourself that it is going to be okay. Even if your life and your relationship is changing, it's going to be okay. You will work it out and just make sure that you're keeping up on your mental health. Number six, this one is near and dear to my heart. Um, healthy weight gain now my first pregnancy if you've watched any of my other videos You'll know that I gained about a hundred pounds my first time around right now I'm 38 weeks and three days and I am up 30 pounds um, Still more than I wanted to gain this time, but I am happy much happier with that 30 pound weight gain versus the hundred pound weight gain so my number six um, tip for you guys with the healthy weight gain is to make sure that you are within your calorie limits it's really as easy as it is and I know you don't want a calorie count when you're pregnant and you don't want to go on a diet that's not what I'm saying you need to do just make sure that you are making the best healthy food choices for you and baby I mean <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you guys the past couple weeks I've had McDonald's like three times and I just made sure it was within my calorie limits for the day and I called it good. <laughs> I had french fries, I had chicken nuggets, I had a, a McChicken, because that's what I was craving. I just made sure that it was within my calorie limits for the day, and I have been able to stay at that 30 pound weight gain. Now earlier on in my pregnancy, I was a little bit more low carb, I do try to have um, a really good healthy protein shake for breakfast along with some eggs in the morning right now. Um, but really, I just try to keep it within my caloric needs. I'll leave a calculator down below for what I used to make sure that I was getting enough calories for me and baby, um, but also not overeating. So not eating for two. You do not need to double your calories during pregnancy, especially in the first trimester. And that was just a mistake that I made my first time around. Things that you can do to eat healthy during pregnancy, especially when you're really tired, and you don't have the energy to cook every single night, is meal prep take one day out of the week where you are meal prepping 
your dinners, your lunches, your breakfasts for the next three to four days. That is my biggest tip, um, is the meal prepping. Also lots of water and low sodium. That is going to prevent um, any severe uh, water retention. I had a lot of water retention with my first pregnancy. I have a little bit this pregnancy um, now that I'm towards the end, but that's totally natural. Um, but just to lessen it, make sure that you are watching um, your sodium amounts and how much water you're drinking. I always keep a giant Yeti mug with me at my desk when I'm working all day long and I will refill that thing several, several, several times a day. If you're tracking your food and your calories, um, I recommend using my Fitness Pal because it will also tell you what your sodium is for the day. You can kind of gauge and whether you need to um, maybe have a little bit more sodium in your diet or you need to cut some out. Um, my fitness pal is really great at breaking those nutrients down for you. Again, you do not need to diet when you're pregnant, but you do need to make sure that you're not eating more than you need to. Number seven, do not Google. Do not Google your symptoms when you're pregnant. You guys, it That's will, what you do. yeah, don't do it. Don't do it. It'll freak you out. If something's wrong, call your doctor. Googling and in YouTubing what's wrong with you is not going to help. I've watched so many scary videos of births going wrong, pregnancies going wrong. You guys stay away from it. You don't need to freak yourself out. And if you think that something is really wrong, call your doctor. <laughs> Number eight. Now, a lot of my tips and tricks I feel like have to do with mental health, but when you're pregnant, it is very important to be on top of your mental health. So number eight, um, I tend to hibernate when I'm pregnant. Now when I say hibernate, I just kind of like bunker down in my house for nine months. Um, I, in the beginning of this pregnancy, I did it much less than I did last pregnancy. Um, my last pregnancy in the beginning, I was it was winter time, and really the only like place to go during the winter time, here's the bar. So I just, I just kind of hibernated with my husband. Um, this time around in the summer, we went camping, we were traveling, having a lot of fun. We went to a music festival. Um, and now that I'm towards the end of my pregnancy and it's winter time, it's cold. I live in Minnesota where it's like the great white tundra and it's like negative 12. What's the high on Saturday? Negative 19? No. Negative 19. That is 19 below zero Fahrenheit. You guys, crazy. So I have a good reason to hibernate. Now it's okay to hibernate, but again, make sure that you're still visiting with your friends, you're talking with your friends, Snapchatting your friends. Keep up with your relationships with your friends and make sure that your mental health is a-okay. You don't wanna feel like you're the only person in the whole world that's going through what you're going through. Find other mom friends, talk to your husband, talk to your friends, make sure that you are staying social. It is very key for while you are pregnant. Tip number nine, invest in good maternity pants. I can't say this enough. Invest in good maternity pants. Now leggings are like all I wear when I'm pregnant, but you guys, the only thing maternity that I wear are leggings, maternity leggings. None of my shirts, none of my sweaters, nothing else that I wear is maternity. I've contemplated on doing like a how to style your bump video because I feel like a lot of women just tend to naturally go towards the maternity section when they're pregnant, and you don't have to. I, I don't know who designed those maternity clothes, but no person my age is going to wear the majority of those maternity clothes. The only place that I have found that has decent maternity clothes um, is H&M and Target. Now, my leggings that I get, I typically, We'll order them from H&M Maternity, or I will order them from Target Maternity, which I believe is the Isabelle or Isabella line. Um, but then, honestly, I just wear a lot of um, tank tops and form-fitting t-shirts, along with like sweatshirts and cardigans and kimonos, and I just size up in the t-shirts and the tank tops. Another thing that you can do um, in regards to like maternity fashion is you can purchase belly bandits for the beginning of your pregnancy. This is really gonna help support your belly and will help you wear your, if you like to wear jeans, I'm always a leggings wearer, but um, if you like to wear jeans, belly bandits will allow you to wear your pre-pregnancy jeans for longer, especially if you tend to get very large belly during pregnancy, um, like outwards. Some people carry very small, but if you carry really big and it's really hard on your back, um, shapewear, this is the best tip that I have gotten and I want to pass along to you guys. 
So instead of like a belly support band, um, if you wear shapewear, so like that Spanx wear, I believe they're, the brand is like Made In Form is the one that I wear. Um, if you wear the Made In Form shapewear tank tops, it helps to support your belly and take some of that pressure off of your back. For my last like fashion tip is maxi dresses during the summertime and the spring. Guys, if you're feeling lazy and you like kind of want to look good, throw on a maxi dress and all of a sudden you look like you're Kim Kardashian. So that's a saving grace if you're hugely pregnant during the summertime. <laughs> Number 10 for shoes. Now my feet do get really swollen. Last time they got swollen and they're swelling this time. Um, I've been wearing my Sorel um, wedge boots and they've been okay this time around. Now, last time I wore a lot of flip flops. I just recommend that you wear anything that's easy to slip on, um, especially towards the end when you can't necessarily reach down and tie your shoes. Um, slip on shoes are great. And if you're hugely pregnant during the summertime, flip flops. Flip -flop. All right, so moving on to my last two tips. Number 11, make sure that you download good pregnancy apps. This will help keep you updated in your pregnancies and um, like help you get through each week, if you will. Pregnancy is long, it's nine months, and you need little things to look forward to along the way besides the big things like the gender reveal and your baby shower if you're having one. The little things like, oh, the baby opened his eyes this week, her eyes this week, or baby can now grasp with their hands this week, baby's now the size of a grapefruit. These are little things that mentally help you get through um, those long nine months. The last but not least, a body pillow or like a pregnancy pillow, whatever you wanna use, I would just use a body pillow. I tried getting one of those big pregnancy pillows but I'm too tall for them so they like fit me awkwardly and now I have awkward hands too. A body pillow or a pregnancy pillow will be your saving grace, especially in your last trimester when you're not sleeping very well. Now I think that the not sleeping very well is just preparing you for when baby comes. Um, just to make your sleep a little bit more comfortable, I highly suggest investing in a good body pillow or pregnancy pillow. All right, you guys, that is going to wrap up my top 12 pregnancy tips and must-haves. Now, I hope you hung in there. I know this was a long video, but these are all tips and tricks that I wish I could go back and tell my pre-pregnancy self and say, hey, this is what's gonna get you through and it's gonna be okay. You got this, girl. If you like this type of video on my channel, please be sure to give this a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below for your tips and tricks that you have during pregnancy for another first time mom or for a second time or even like a third time mom. Leave your tips down below. Be sure that you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Again, guys, I am 38 weeks pregnant and I have been in and out of labor, so I've got a birth vlog coming your way very soon. Again, thank you for tuning in to today's video and I will see you guys sometime in the very near future, as in like Friday or Saturday. Okay, bye guys. What a wonderful world.